of the physical. Moses, Aaron, and her went up to the top of the mountain right. so they could take care of the spiritual. This was complete and total cooperation. Those who were able to fight were the ones who could fight. And those responsible for invoking the power of God were the ones who went on top of the hill to invoke the power of God. Right. There was no power struggle Amen. here Amen. as to who was going to be on top of the hill and who had to be on the bottom of the hill. Right. You know, some of us couldn't have this type of cooperation no. because we would wonder why I got to go to the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you weren't been here the longest. You older than me. How come you don't go down there and fight? with Amic and let me go on top of the hill. Now that wasn't that kind of strife between them. Joshua knew his place and Moses knew his place. And as long as one of them, as long as they both function in their proper functioning role, then the battle was going to be successful. The Bible says so Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. It came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. Yeah. As long as his hands were held up, mm -hmm. Israel was winning yeah. the battle. Yeah. Yeah. And guess yes, what? As long as his hands were stretched up toward God, yes. Israel was beating Amalek. Right. But now when his hands were let down, right, right. the Bible says Amalek prevailed. In other words, when Moses' hands were in the down position, uh -huh. when they were away from the invoking of the presence of God, right, right. then that's when the enemy started gaining the mastery over them. Right. I think there's a message here for the children of God tonight. Because as long as we keep our eyes lifted up to heaven, as long as we keep our hands in praying position, as long as we keep our arms reaching up to him, we're going to always be successful in beating the enemy. The devil can't do you no harm as long as you're constantly reaching up to God for strength, reaching up to God for encouragement, reaching up to to God for the tenacity yes. to just stay on in the fight and do what needs to be done. As long as you're reaching up to God, God will reach back unto you. Yes. That's the reason James tells us, draw near unto yes. God. Yes. And God will draw near yes. unto you. Yes. You got to you can't play pity pat with the devil. You yes. got to resist him. That word resist means to fight him. Yes. You ever seen a fellow resist an arrest? Oh, yeah. Amen in him. Right. That brother don't want to go back to jail. No, no. Amen in him. Right. And it takes some cops from three other counties to help take that one man down. Yes. Why? Because he is resisting arrest. Uh -huh. And it's the same way with us. Right. If we're going to win this battle, mm -hmm. if we're going to hold up and to hold out, we've got to reach up to God because God will reach back down to us. Amen. The Bible shows us. As long as Moses' hands was up, mm -hmm. Israel prevailed. Yes. When his hands came down, yes. Amalek prevailed. Mm -hmm. I want to show you, show you something here in verse number 12. Right. Bible said, but Moses' hands were heavy. Oh, yeah. Hello in here. Yes. They took a stone <laughs> and put it under him. Right. And he sat there on. And Aaron and her stayed up his hands. Right. The one on the one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady yes, until the going down talk of the sun yes, sir. I need to talk to us for just a minute talk to we didn't see Joshua down there in the valley mm -hmm. looking up on top of the heat Come on, oh, wondering what's wrong with Moses oh, <laughs> hello in here yes, we didn't see Joshua down there complaining no. See, he wanted to be on top of the heat. Yes, sir. And he can't even handle the responsibility of being on top of the heat. Oh, Look at him with his old self. Take the time. Arms done got so heavy. Take the time. To where he can't even hold him up by himself. Oh, 
time you need to sit down somewhere. Oh. I mean, old folk, you, you know, you, you got some younger folk that don't say old folk, you know when, you, when it's time for you to sit down. Uh -huh. We got some younger folk that don't have the sense enough to appreciate the wisdom that God has placed them on them. God has our older warriors and brothers and sisters, these, yes. these old prayer warriors, these, uh -huh. these individuals who have been on the battlefield for quite some time. Uh -huh. He's got them here for a reason. Uh -huh. And if you operate under their guidance, uh -huh. you'll find yourself doing well. Uh -huh. We didn't see Joshua complaining uh -huh. about Moses' hands getting heavy uh -huh. because every time Moses' hands came down, that means Amalek was winning the battle. But what happened, I saw in the text, was not only was there some cooperation, but there was also some consideration. Right. Amen. And then, they were considerate of the fact that Moses was tired. And since Moses tired, we ain't going to send him down to the bottom of the hill. No, no. What we going to do is help him function in his capacity. Oh, I wish the children of God would understand that tonight. All right, all right. Because we got some old soldiers here on the battlefield that are still useful to this service. Some of the young folk have, have gotten the mindset that they need to move out of the way. But it ain't for you to say Amen. when they should move out of the way. That's right. God put them in place for a reason. Yeah. And if God still has them in place, it's for a purpose. Yeah. And so what we need to do if we're going to win this fight is not fight against the yeah. older folk, against the younger folk. Yeah. It can't be a battle with the young against the older. We've got to have some consideration yeah. and do like they did Moses. They found a stone. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Yes. They found somewhere for Moses to sit down. If you're too tired to stand up, Moses, just sit down. Oh. Let me, let me help you here. Yeah. Let us help you fulfill your role in this fight. Because you are valuable to this fight. You're valuable to the purpose for which we're still here. And apparently God has more work for you. So let me make it easy on you. Amen. Sit down. Amen. Everyone got on one side. Yes, sir. Uh, got on the other side. Yes, sir. And the Bible says when Moses couldn't hold his own hands up. Yeah. Aaron and uh, yes, sir. held his hands up. Yes, I could just, I could just say it with my with my sanctified eye. You know, I got a, I got a sanctified eye. And, and I look back in my sanctified eye. On that stone. I, I can see Aaron yeah. on one side. I, I see Aaron yes, on the other side. I, I see him holding his hands up because them helping him was what was best for everybody. Yes, sir. Did you follow me here? We're talking about helping each other to hold up and to hold out. The Bible does indicate unto us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that every member of the body yes. is important yes. for the body. Yes. So instead of me getting rid of that old baby toe right. that I keep hitting all the time, yes. the Bible indicates that all we got to do is just patch him up. Yes. Because as long as he's helping you keep your balance in there, you need that baby toe. Yes. Amen. And if you're getting rid of the baby toe, you're going to have a hitch in you get along. And so just catch him up. Just help him function in his functionality and God will give you the increase. We saw them operating with not only some cooperation. We saw them operating with some consideration. And because of the fact they were considering of Moses' infirmity. Because of the fact they considered that he was tired. Because of the fact they considered that he couldn't do it all by himself. Because of the fact they considered that he was a man. And that men need help. Even if they're God men, they need some help. Because of the fact they were considering they got one on the one side. Come on brothers, help me out with this. They got one on the one side. And they got another on the other side. See, this is what we need here. 
Sometimes we we in this battle together. See, these brothers realize that I ain't just up here for me. I'm up here for them too. Amen. And there comes a time, even in this preaching life, that you get tired of trying to hold up folks who don't want to hold themselves up. Sometimes you get tired of dealing with people.